Hey, what's going on YouTube? Black Bear Hunter here coming at you again, and we're here to talk about B. Boucher. Not like Bobby Boucher. Boucher. <laughs> but this is basically um, a Boucher style me. If you know anything about a Boucher style me, um, it's basically where you um, you caramelize the honey before you drop it in the fermentation, right? Um, and what that does is exactly what I told you. It caramelizes the honey and, and creates a nice, sweet um, texture, but it leaves behind a ton of residuals. And depending on what kind of honey that you boche, um, yeah, it can get really complex 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 whatever so um yeah this this mo this mead is made by once again back um back again coming hard <laughs> it is a brick terranian beer hut located in lagrange georgia this uh this mead comes in at like 16.2 percent um so yeah sent me some tasters so this is actually a variant of another uh, mead that I tried up there uh, called Little B. Um, and so Little B was the traditional style mead. Um, like I said, this is B, this is the Boche, but then there's four variants to the, um, like I said, of the um, traditional mead, which like I said, this, the regular Boche, um, Banana Forest, in a Banana Forest, Cherie which is like a, um, it's aged on, um, cherries, right? Um, I think it's like a mixture of sour and sweet, more likely sour to balance the sweetness from the, um, the sweetness of the honey. And then the big dog, this is, uh, B. Boche aged on Ardbeg, if you, <laughs> Ardbeg scotch. And if you know anything about Ardbeg, Whew. So you're going to have sweet and smoky sound like I'm at like a barbecue, Louisiana barbecue. And yeah, um, that's definitely going to be extremely complex. I would like to say it's also wood on there and I'd like to say maybe French wood. Not 100 percent sure, but I definitely could find out. I'll find out before, I, you know, before I actually um, drink it here on YouTube before we, you know, we share and talk about it. But at the end of the day. 16.2% ABV. And so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I'm talking too much. Let's open this boy up. I've been waiting to crack this for a minute. He sent it to me and said, I want to see what you think. And he's, I mean, I talked to him while he was drinking it over the phone and all I heard was his lips smacking. <laughs> so I, I was like, please, 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 if you get the chance, send me one. And so here we go. So, that being said, YouTube, let's go ahead and get a pour on this and see what it's looking like. So, no carbonation, sent to still. I wanted to see what it was like still. Look at that. Nice and pretty. So, you can see it's got like an amber glow, right? Um, like a little hazy brownish kind of like copper like like a nice little amber or copper penny uh it's clear though you know it's real clear you can see through it um that looks good right um so yeah i mean it looks good um and so no head um so you're definitely not going to get any lacing, um, but you can kind of see it sticking to the glass. You can barely probably see it in this. Um, you can barely probably see it in this uh, this video through this camera, but at the end of the day, um, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty clear, right? So let's go ahead and get us uh, take a, take check out the aromas. Oh. Hmm. It's fruity. Um, definitely, you're definitely getting sweetness and you're getting those honey notes. Um, a little caramel from the caramelization. 
a little bit of kind of like a toffee, um, a little floral, um, some vanilla like ish notes there, but I really smell something fruity and citrusy in those in, in that uh in that mead. Um, wow, it, I mean it smells delicious. Let me try again. Yeah, it's definitely something citrusy. Um, mm, I don't want to taste that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and but it's a little too cold. It's a little cold right now, right? Um, so I think it's going to. It definitely will get more complex as as it uh, warms up. But as it stands, it's definitely something fruity going on there. Something fruity. Um, <laughs> But let's go ahead and check this out, YouTube. I'm going to have to taste it and take one for the team. So with that being said, YouTube, cheers. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Man, it's oh my gosh, that is so delicious. So you definitely are getting some fruits in there. It's like apple juice. It kind of reminds me of a sizer. So you get those apple apricot notes. Um you're getting that caramel. It's real light though, it's subtle. It's more fruit than than I'm getting those then the caramel notes and the residuals from um from both from the both shape process. Um uh, woo. Like the 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 vanilla it's like marshmallow weird. Um so I would expect that more with like a barrel aged more like a barrel aged meat. Where it has like those marshmallow and chocolate, but it's kind of like toffee-ish. Man, that's that's ooh. So the flavor is awesome. I that's I just have to put it there. That like I had to say that the flavor is awesome. Um, loads of honey, but delicious. Is like I said, it's sweet on the front, but it. It really kind of, like I said, that, that fruit helps to transition the flavor. And you're definitely getting like, yeah, like maybe even like banana. But you're getting that apple juice, honey, banana, um, yo, it's a pure, unadulterated expression of Boche honey. That's all I can say. Oh my gosh. It's really good. And I'm not just saying that because it's, it's somebody I know. This is actually really, really good. It, I, they did an awesome job. The only thing I'd like to really see is what this would taste like in a couple years. I wish I could like fast forward. You ever see like a uh, click with Adam Sandler? I wish I could do like click and skip like four years and taste that in four years. Oh my god. Hold on. Mm. Ooh. And then the mouth feels like it's light. Mm. This like lingers. Of course, no carbonation. But it just like lingers in your tongue and it's extremely, extremely, extremely smooth. Um, man, this drink. Oh, wow. What would I? Mm, would I have dessert with that? It's like dessert. But, I mean, it would go well with. Fuck. It's hard to say. Like, a salad? Some fish? Yeah. Maybe, like, some fish. Because, I mean, it has, like, it kind of feels like. A mixture between it's kind of like a wine 
So it kind of feels like a pink Moscato. Maybe even like, yeah, like a pink Moscato in Zinfandel because it, it doesn't seem like it's really, really dry, but then it doesn't seem really, really sweet. Well, it is sweet, but it has some dry characteristics. So it's weird. It sits in between. So this is something, a style that you can try yourself. Or you can just contact, if it was me, I'd just contact them just to get an idea. Contact Britterranean and say, hey, hook me up. <laughs> Check them out on Instagram. But at the end of the day, it's something you definitely have to try. I don't see why there's not a lot of Boche style meads, braggots, um, yeah, anything in general, man, like just beads and braggots why there's not a lot of boche style um products um even in boche added to a beer why why not it totally changes the whole narrative this is delicious and i mean i i had their traditional style which was delicious but this is different so with that being said i like the originality um sweet honey sweetness though um it masked the alcohol content really well um nice on in easy on the palate that medium nice balance on the palate um the it's a concentration of honey forward well it is making fruit forward because the yeast that they used on this is doing did an exceptional job um a little light acidity to it um i'm not sure where that's coming from because there's no fruit in this but it has a little like a little acidic up front kind of kind of may or it might just be reminding me of that because the citrus notes but there's definitely some light floral notes um like i said the caramel everything mixed in really well um it's just raw this is just really raw because it's still young it's not even a year old yet and so it, awesome finish I, the yeast did a good job of finishing up and making it easy to drink this early i forgot how long ago he created this but delicious 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 i won't I, whatever going to the store and, and trying to find something like this you're probably not going to be able to there's some great meteries out there we've i've had a few but great finish the yeast that they use whatever <laughs> all i'm gonna say youtube is you try it your boy tried it you try it see what you think and then hit me up let's talk about some me we could talk about some braggots because i'll be doing talking about one of their braggots and um yeah let's get it in so with that being YouTube, your boy's about to pound this, knuckle up. And so, yeah, man, we'll talk. Peace, YouTube.